Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Gasford. Expansion of Vermont's broadband system is being called one of the largest infrastructure projects in state history. And that connection will cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Channel 3's Rachel Mann is live in the newsroom to break down a report from State Auditor Doug Hoffer. Rachel, why is he raising some red flags? Christina, everyone can agree broadband access is almost essential in this day and age. What this report does is address potential risks that could lead to overspending. So far, more than $120 million has spent spent on this infrastructure and much more spending is in the future. Is that because of so much federal money, it's not just coming to Vermont, it's going to every state in the country. With broadband funding being disbursed across the nation, demand for supply is high. In a recent report, Vermont Auditor Doug Hoffer says the Green Mountain State needs to have a plan to finance future projects. Everybody's going to be looking for fiber, all the related parts that a system needs and workers. So the sooner the state and the CUDs and the board can get some certainty about how much and when, the better. Gaps in future funding were among risks identified in Hoffer's report. Others include varying experience among the state's six communications districts, a lack of transparency with the public, and future fiber purchase costs. Vermont Community Broadband Board staff members say they aren't surprised by the risks mentioned, but feel as though they've taken steps to mitigate them. But we're looking closely at the business plans of each of the districts. Each district is different. Each district is at a different phase, and we're doing... We're we're looking for other funding opportunities. We started a workforce development plan and and we now have training starting in April to train next year's technicians so we don't see a labor gap next year. Consolidated Communications, one of Vermont's biggest broadband providers, says in working with the communications districts, most of the challenges they face are specific to them. Just the, uh, the infrastructure, right? You get into some of the make ready uh, type applications, um, where now you're going to rely on other potentially other utilities or there's other roadblocks uh, that are you know, unforeseen. But even if the construction details within the CUDs are ironed out, Hoffer says future costs still raise red flags. The broadband board says they won't know about federal funds until at least June, and if it falls short of expectations, the burden could fall on the state. On the other hand, it has been estimated that twice that much will be necessary to actually build out the system every last mile. And that's kind of a problem because if you don't get free money, you have to pay interest on the debt incurred to borrow that money. The re report ends by saying total estimated cost to build a universal broadband network in Vermont will ultimately total 600 to 800 million dollars. With the current plans, the broadband board hopes 60% of those funds will come in the form of state, federal, or private grants. Though Hoffer says ignoring the risks in this report could jeopardize the state's goals. Christina.